morning girls and boys right uh i was gonna say yeah i've contacted me from youtube uh in one of the comments like he comments on my post quite often he, he does and he contacted me saying chris would you mind doing a, a thing for me like raising awareness for men's mental health this was a bit ago, a few weeks ago. And I said, yeah, of course, will, yeah. Why, what's the, why, what do you want me to do? Like? He said, oh, I'll send you some T-shirts. Like, just, just, like, promote it. Like, he says his mate set up a website. Uh, what, a, like, directing lads to go. You know, if they've got problems like mental health problems, direct them where to go if they've got these kind of problems. And I'm like, yeah, of course, will, yeah. And I went to our missus and I says, this lad's contact me, mate, about this mental health thing. I don't know what he wants. I know he wants me to wear the t-shirt well wear a t-shirt and promote this mental health thing about these you know men's mental health i said i don't know what all that's about she's like oh yeah it's a big thing chris i'm like really is it it's like yeah it's a massive thing in men obviously but i was thinking mental health like you've gone a bit mental you know what i mean <laughs> but it's not you know when she explained it to me now i'm thinking oh right so that's just like everyday everyday shit isn't it what you have to go through and uh and anyway, he, uh, I says, I'm sorry, I rang out. I said, man, what, what, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do, like, what do you want me to, do you just want me to have a few, like, like, words on my channel about men's mental health? He says, yeah, he says, what, what I'd like you to do is, is, is come down and see me. I'm at Wrexham. I thought, fucking Wrexham, that's where we started off from the skin flip challenge. <laughs> uh, I said, why, what, 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 like, what? What do you want me to do? He says, well, I, I just want you to, to make people aware that there is help out there if if they are having issues and they've got nowhere to turn, obviously. They can go on this website and it'll direct them to some help what they need. So I said, yeah, but how's that, how, how am I going to do that? He says, well, what I want you to do, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... You, He says, can you do it on a... I said, I work, Matt, obviously. And when I'm not working, I've got the kids. I've got to work to earn money, obviously. He says... Uh, he says, all right, yeah, well, 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 how many, how many is there of you lot? I said, there's seven of us. So anyway, they contact me back. He says, well, I've got you booked in at these fishing lakes near, like a, like a glamping site, but it's without the glamping bit, just like a tent for the size of it. <laughs> he said, I've got you booked in for you and the kids on a Monday, on Monday night and Tuesday night. This is at Wales, at a camping site. So he says, uh, Basically, what I want you to do is go down there, see my mate, he's got a fleet of wagons, and I have a word with him, because he's mate with this fleet of wagons, he's the bloke who set up this website to help blokes, obviously, that's having problems, having having issues, because his brother or something's had problems. Uh, so he set up this website, and he says, basically, all I want you to do is just make people aware that there is help out there. So I'm like, all right, okay. But then he got me thinking, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I don't really know where to go with this because I've never really suffered from anything like this. But then when I'm thinking about it, I thought to myself, fuck me, I have, you know. You know where, uh, you don't really realise, do you? A bit, a bit of, well, a good few years ago, I was going through a rough patch. Uh, and I was taking the kids to Drayton Manor or somewhere like that. And I was going through a real rough patch at the time. And my mind was anywhere, you know, I couldn't really, Fucking, I couldn't really focus on anything. I, my mind was just away with the fairies. Think about all the problems. And anyway, yeah, I, I, I took the kids to the straight of Manor and I got like down the road, going outside the outskirts of Newark. And I thought, me sat nav on the car won't work. And I thought, I ain't got a clue where I'm going. And I sat there at the side of the road with the kids in the car. It was boiling hot. I'm thinking to myself, I, I don't know what to do, you know. I really do not know what to do. My mind was like fried, if you know what I mean. And I thought to myself then, when I was sat there, think, I thought to myself, what's up with me? Like, what's up with me? My mind's just not working right. My mind's just gone with the wind. And anyway, I went back home and I, and I borrowed a sat nav off someone and uh, and took the kids there, like, and had a, had a day out there. But I, was, I thought to myself after that, my mind was fried, you know. My mind, I just didn't, I don't know how long it took me to get there, but my mind was gone. And I should think that's what this mental health thing is like, you know. You know, because you don't really realise it, dear, that, you know, when stuff gets on top of you, us men are terrible, we don't like talking about it, do we? We don't like talking about problems, fucking hell, I don't. And you know, when someone else talks about their problems to me, I think, oh, well, 
Come on, just change the subject, quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's an awkward thing, isn't it? Nobody really wants to talk about it, do they? Nobody wants to fucking talk about the problems, do they? And especially some of us, we don't want to talk about our problems to a family or friends. Like I would do, I, I, I did speak to my family, obviously, you know, when I had them problems, I, I, I talked to my family and my mates were ever so good and all, because they all knew what the crap was. So they were really good. But you know, if you ain't got that support, and you've got nowhere to fucking turn to, and you're just sat in your own mind bubble, it could get you a bit down in the dumps, can't it? So basically, what this website is, is a, uh, a place where you can go and talk to someone. It'll direct you to the place where to go to talk to someone that might have had the same problems as you or know how to sort your problems out or even just put you in the right frame of mind to do something about it, you know what I mean? So it is a good it is a good thing in a way, isn't it? When he first told me about it, I'm thinking mental health, you know, mental health, just fucking get on with it. But I do understand it. You know what I mean? It's not you sometimes you just can't get on with it, can you? If it's if if it's in your mind and, and you've got problems happening, oh, you could have fucking any fucking problems. But obviously, us men are terrible. We don't talk about our problems, do we? And if you've got nowhere to turn, you can go to this website. <laughs> And he's literally doing it for nothing. He's got in contact with loads of us YouTubers and he's trying to make a little, you know, a little community just to try and make everyone aware that there is help out there. Which is fair play to Matt and it's fair play to his mate and all for setting up the website and going out his way. But completely, he don't earn out of it, obviously. He just does it purely because his brother had this problem and he wants to make a difference, doesn't he? To other people's lives. So, fair play to him, lad. So that's what we're doing Monday and Tuesday. There it is, look. We've got the merch, look. Look, these are all the YouTubers that are involved with it. I know the back's in then, look, because, uh, oh, a bit ago, I did a skin flint challenge and they donated some car bits for me for this, uh, for this P38, what I was doing. So I know them, lot. I've, I've looked at these, lot. they're good. That's where we're going, look. Gatewind Training Services. So that's the haulish firm where we're going. Well, training firm. So we're going to get on our way, aren't we, Arch? It's not just an easy job, you know, this camping. You know, like, oh, camping for two days, that's easy, isn't it? Not with five kids, it's not. You know the amount of gear what you need for five kids? And, a, well, four kids and a baby. Woo! Amy's car's full up to the brim here. That's full to the brim. Our van's full of gear and, oh, dearie me. So we're going down in the van now, and then... Amy and the kids are coming in a bit. Right, we need to get fuel again. I've just filled up the car now, I need to fill this. Let's go. Right, we've got to go to Josh's, because Josh is going to lend me all his stuff for his camping, because obviously he's a fisherman, isn't he? He likes his fishing. So he's got all the gear. So he's going to lend me it. And all the other. Yeah, he has. Right, that's it, more gear, you see? You can never have enough gear. Right, people, next time you'll see us, we'll be at Wrexham. Yeah! Aren't we, Arch? Goodbye, Newark. No ways. <laughs> Again. <laughs> right, we're at Matt's house now, nearly.
Camera shy, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah, like that. Oh. I've seen you on YouTube, mate. You can't get away from it. How are you? All right, buddy. Yeah, good. All well. Uh, well, I wasn't very well on Saturday because I had sickness and diarrhea bug. Mm -hmm. And now our missus just rang this morning and says Ernie's just been sick because obviously she's following us up, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna turn around and follow him then. Yeah, I got it round my head. It wasn't this lad's brother that had the problem. It was Matt's brother that had the problem with his mental health. Uh, so I don't know my facts at all, do I? In fact, I don't know anything really. But we're going here now. We're going to Gateway Training Services. That's his mate. Gateway. That's also involved in the charity. <laughs> The rain's just kicked in for us. Just in time for camping. Yes, there we are, Gatewind's uh, training. Oh, yeah, look. It's lovely camping weather, Matt. Gatewind, Gatewind. Gatewind. See, I'm good at me. I'm good yeah. at this thing, Anna. <laughs> Yeah, look, they don't just do training lot on lorries, look, they do it on fault lifts, fire, health and safety, first aid. And we do educational programmes as well. Oh, do you? NBQs, yeah. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Logistics, we do all logistics programmes. Some of the lorries are out at the minute, he's got a wagon and drag that's out, and he's got another Arctic that's out. So and we're left. And a rigid here. Rigid, rigid down. Oh, there it is, look. Oh, that's good, isn't it? There we go, look, this is what we're doing it for, look. And this is all because of this man here. Hey, Matt. Hey, mate. Awareness for mental health. See, so if you've got a problem, go on that website or ring that number. We'll have a look around these trailers then, and lorries. Huh? We're going to put Ivy's on. <laughs> he says, you're going to wear overalls? He says, nah. He says, you're going to wear Ivy's? I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to wear Ivy's. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wear Ivy's, of course we are. Jesus, I'm going to go underneath the trailer without ideas. Test this beauty. With my little multi tool hammer. Alright. Alright, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've had new chambers on it, Art. Oh, very fancy. Very fancy. Yeah, lovely. Crushed it up then. Don't hit your head with that hard hat. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you've got the hard hat on. That's what happens when you wear an hard hat. You always hit your head on top. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they bought that for me, lot, the multi tool hammer. I don't know how long it's going to last until I lose it, Matt, but yeah. so. <laughs> it's there anyway. <laughs> it's there at the minute. I need a bit of string. Right, Wayne, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Look after yourself. You've got a good yeah. business, thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Ah, me and Archie smelt diesel, Arch. That's what I said. Yeah, you said that it looked a bit damp, didn't you? <laughs> Struggle bus is struggling. Yeah, that's coming from the freaking filler hose. <laughs> At least we know where the smell's coming from. <laughs> yeah, the struggle continues. Right, we're going to go to the camping site now, what Matt's kindly organised for us, which is good. Thank you, Matt. Cush the little deal. Where are you up? <laughs> Here we are, look, common wood leisure. Cushy. Cushy, it'll do. Matt was just saying it started up as a, like a fish room thing, and now they've branched out to families, and also it's good. I can see the bar. There's a bar over there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, look. See, she got here in the end. Didn't break down. Look at them ones. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That one and that one. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Look, kids, look. Oh, we've even got a little... Th oh, good job of awesome cold, Matt. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Oh, this is back to the wild, this is, Matt. The Blue Lagoon. Can we jump in? Here she is, look. Right, cheers, I'll Matt. Thank you. you. All right, bye, mate. Thank you, Matt. Have a good one. Bye. Nice to meet you, Matt. I'll pop up there. Yeah, all right. See you a bit, Matt. Thank you, mate. Well, let's unpack. There's our setup, look. With Birdie carrying that I've had. <laughs> and look, this is the girls' setup. That's better. What are you doing with clothes? Putting them away. Don't pretend. You don't do this at home. <laughs> All fun of camping out, babe. It's the great outdoor experience. <gasps> Look at our birdie lot. She's loving the great outdoors. Looking for so much to use as a great. All I can think of is tyre bars. It's the tyre bar great. <laughs> As Archie just said, it's cushy when it's raining, you're in a tent, isn't it? Yeah. You hear it? Oh, it's lovely. Especially when you're in a dry tent. I'm used to being in a tent that leaks loads of water. Meat, like, mm. like people have meat Yeah, they're right. They're <laughs> nice. Oh. Are you real? <laughs> you're very still. Well, we all had a good night's sleep, didn't we, kids? Little park. Dive in. Oh, he's actually in. Oh, oh it looks yeah. nice. Can you stand up there, Ed? There, look, we've even got ourselves a breakfast this morning, haven't Yay! we? This is the last morning. We've, we've been here two nights. It's a lovely place to come. And it's a good breakfast and all, isn't it? Look at that, look. You like it, Art? Yep. I enjoyed it? Yep. I enjoyed it, kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where we was. There and there. So that's that lake, look. And look at all the rest of the lakes, look. There's a private one here, look. But like you can rent out, I think, Matt. Guys, and now we're here. Yeah, we are there now, and right? you're right. And then we're going to go here. It's amazing for fishing, but the looks of it. I haven't recorded much for the pure reason is they've got no chargers, they've got no electric in the tent, which is good. It's a change from uh, being on the phones all the time, isn't it? I met the man that owns it. I, uh, I was talking to him, I thought he was a grand like, keeper person. So I was talking to him, I said, What do you do, mate? Anyway, he says, well, I own this place, obviously, and I've got a concrete firm as well. I'm like, oh, right, I didn't realise that you owned it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought he was a grand scale person. So he's a dad to the person as well, the bloke that owns it. All right, that's it then, guys. A big thank you to Common Wood Leisure for uh, giving us the, the uh, tent for two nights. And thank you to Matt as well, uh, off you, from YouTube, obviously, the, uh, the lad that's organised all this for men's mental health. So if you need any help, remember, or if you're feeling down in the dumps, don't just sit there in your own depression. Go on to his website and uh, it'll steer you in the right direction and hopefully give you some help. Hey, Arch. Yeah.
Right, see me guys. Ladies. Ladies. Woo -woo. Woo. Oh, we're fully loaded lot. We've just literally just jammed it in there, haven't we? <laughs> we're out of here. We're driving back on now, back to reality now.